This video begins the demonstration lesson, also described online in our training guide as Lesson 1. In the following, I'll be following what's written in our basic instructions line by line, so I recommend having a copy nearby. The instructions are on our website, nmrlab.technion.ac.il, under Instructions, DPX200, Proton NMR, 1D Acquisition and Processing. The instructions generally include two options, one for the keyboard and one for the mouse. Online, you'll find hyperlinks with further details. You can find copies of our software manuals inside the lab, and you can use the help menu of the program since that's handy. However, the instructions that we will follow are sufficient for now. Let's start with step 1A of the instructions. Sign the logbook with your name and phone number. Topspin should be open. If not, you can just click on this icon here. Step 2 now is to create a new file. Either type new or click on the icon new. And here for name, I'm going to put my name, followed by a 200. That's to help keep me organized that I'm on the DPX 200. The experiment number is 1. It can be any integer value, but no symbols, no letters. And the directory is opt topspin. That's because we're on a Linux instrument. The user here is generally your principal investigator, and it should be set up if you choose from the browser option on the left to be with the correct information. For solvent, I'll here choose what solvent I'm going to use. I've got a sample with deuterated chloroform, and so I select CDCL3. For experiment, I'm going to scroll down and choose 0 underscore 1H. That's the same exact parameter set as this one that's written just 1H, just that it's higher up on the list because of the zero. For title, I'll type in the title of the material that I'm going to use, and then I'll click on OK. That now appears here in the browser, and on the computer itself, if you'd like to see where we navigate to, we can open up a window and see that if we navigate to opt topspin, that under my name, under data, sorry, data, and then under my name, NMR, there's now a L200, which we just created, and experiment number one contains these files that were in the parameter file we just called. At the moment, there's no file called FID because we haven't yet acquired a free induction decay. A note of warning, as a facility manager, I reserve the right to delete files on this computer at any time, so back up your data. Let's go back to the program, and let's look across the top at the information that we have here. We're running Brooker Topspin 1.3 on NMR 200. The file name I just created is YAL 200, it's experiment number one, process number one, and we're in the directory opt topspin YAL. As an aside, I highly recommend opening a text document or spreadsheet and maintaining a list of experiment numbers and titles. It only takes a few seconds if you create it as you go, whereas if you wait until you've acquired a couple of hundred spectra, it takes much longer to reconstruct such a list. In the next two videos, we'll see how to properly place an NMR sample inside the magnet and then how to prepare the magnetic field for optimum resolution and sensitivity. 